Hello, my name is Pat Nolan and I'm an IBM Maximo support analyst and here's a short video on how to create a start center in Maximo. If you have all the correct permissions then you will see on your start center these links here, change content layout, display settings, create new template, modify existing template and update start center. If you don't see those then you don't have the correct permissions. To check your permissions you want to go to security and then security groups and look at the security group that you belong to. So in this example I'm going to look under the max admin group and under the max admin group once it shows up and you select it click on the applications tab and you will then see a list of applications and what you want to do is filter for the ones that are pertinent in this case. So the most important one is layout and configuration. Under layout and configuration there's an option for grant access for the read modify access that must be checked and also can create template that also must be checked. For all the other portlets such as favorites, inbox assignments, KPI graph, KPI list, Results set setup, quick insert, and the start center itself, you need to check for a few other things. But let's just look at one as an example. This KPI graph setup application here is another example of a portlet that you could put in. And what you want to make sure for all these other portlets is that the grant access is for is checked for read modify and the hide portlet is not checked. If the hide portlet is checked, then you will not be able to see the portlets on your start center. So if it's all set up right in security, on your start center what you'll see is the option for create new template. And then you will see uh, a narrow wide layout as a default. And the description, it'll show up as new template, but you should put something else in there to make it meaningful. I'm going to put uh, manager template and then you want to select what you want to show on both the left and the right columns in your start center so I'll click on select content and what you'll see is all the available portlets these are the ones you allow permissions for in security so for the left side which is normally narrow I'm going to put uh, quick insert and favorites and click OK and for the right hand column I'm going to choose a few other ones I'll choose KPI graph and result set which are normally wide take up the right hand side click on OK and once you're done selecting portlets for both the left and right column click on finished and it'll go back to a rough outlay of what your start center will look like but it will not be finished you'll have to go to each portlet and actually edit it and put what you want in it so for favorite applications for example you want to click on select applications and it brings up a list of applications you can choose from I'm going to choose few here, I'll just choose classifications and say company master. Choose whatever you like and click on OK and once you've done that click on finished and it comes back into the start center and shows you a bit more of it filled in and then click on quick insert now to fill that one in Very similar to the last one we did, you click on select actions and it brings up a list of applications. This one is for when you want to create a new record. So we'll go new asset and new calendar. Click on OK. Click on finished. And shows up. These headings are totally uh, variable. You can fill them in if you want or leave them as a default. Uh, on the right hand side we'll look at 
this one and the KPI graph. We're on select KPIs to show there. So let's show select a couple. Say OK. And once again finished. And this will come back and should show us some graphs on the start center. And then we'll have to do just the last one which is result set. Okay, there we are. Shows you the graph and the variables. And then under result set, similar thing, click on edit portlet. In this case, the first thing you need to do is click on the actual query that you want to show. And uh, we'll just select Bedford work orders as an example. Once you choose the query, it'll know which columns under the column display tab are available for that. And in this case, I'm just going to select a couple. I'll choose asset number and choose whatever you want, but um, I'll just put change date. Okay, once you choose, and you can choose a number of columns, but I'll just choose a two for now. Once you've chosen them, you can click on finished. And there's your result set. So basically now your start center is com it's almost complete. What you need to do now is click on save template. And it will be saved uh, with the, the name you gave it. Plus it will also have a number so you can access it later on. Okay, so it's now been saved. In order to find that template and use it. You need to go once again to security security groups and this is an example. We'll pull up the Max Admin again. But for each security group you have the option of entering a start center number and there's a lookup here and we should be able to find the start center that we've just created. And we don't know what the number is, but we've called it manager. So that's why it's good to have a, a name that's meaningful. So we'll check on manager, and there's our manager's template. That's the one we've just created. And if we did this, that would then put that new template as a start center for the security group max admin. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this was helpful.